Hey Morningstar, this Friday night, many of you and your neighbors will be proudly displaying the pumpkins we gave away at our Great Pumpkin Festival a couple weeks ago. Many are going to be carved with funny faces or scary faces, candles inserted inside, and, and, and they'll be welcoming trick-or-treaters on your front porch or maybe your driveway. And, and my hope is that those pumpkins continue to remind those who don't attend Morningstar, who received one, about our love and generosity. And you know what? Halloween also affords us a very similar opportunity that we were afforded with the Great Pumpkin Festival. For those of us who are in town and at home, I challenge us, let's use Halloween as an opportunity to express extravagant generosity to those who come to our door. What would that look like to you? Just like the giving pathway I unveiled this past weekend in worship, we talked about taking a next step in our generosity. How would it be to take a next step on the, the treats that we hand out at Halloween? I'm not suggesting that everybody go out and give away a huge bag full of candy, but, but you know what? If you give away a, a, a Tootsie Roll, how about giving away four or five Tootsie Rolls to a kid this year? If you normally hand out one of those little fun-sized Snickers bar, what would it look like to hand out a full-sized Snickers bar this year? You, you get the idea. Whatever you normally do, take a next step. Take a couple extra dollars, and for some of you, maybe another $15, $20. And be a blessing to those who come to your door, the, the little boys and girls. And hey, even those teenagers that you may feel are way too old to be out trick-or-treating and asking for candy. As we talked about in the flesh study, let go of any judgment and just offer love. Remember, nothing says love to kids like candy. Now, some of you have concerns about Halloween. Depending on, uh, on what you have read, uh, the actual date and the way Halloween is celebrated honestly probably has origins in pagan festivals, just like Christmas and Easter do. But hey, it's not just a pagan holiday, it's also a Christian holy day, namely All Hallows' Eve. All Hallows' Eve was an evening vigil set aside to prepare for the celebration of All Saints' Day on November 1st and then All Souls' Day on November 2nd. Two holy days that call us to remember the lives of those in our family, in our church, in our community, who've died and gone on to the Lord in the last 12 months. So I'd encourage you, take a moment this weekend and remember, remember those in your life who've gone to eternity. Give God thanks for their lives and the time you were blessed to have with them, no matter how long that was or how short that time was. Friends, Halloween, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's neither right nor wrong. It's all about how we choose to look at it and to, to see that we can leverage it for kingdom purposes. So I encourage each of us to get creative, to make it a family activity, not just for your children to go door to door and collect candy, but to use Halloween as another opportunity to put flesh on loving our neighbors as we turn the page to be generous blessings to those coming right to our homes. So hey, have a safe, fun, and blessed Friday night as you be the church, and I'll see you in worship this weekend. God bless you.